Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're taking a look at Bonanza. I hear a lot of people talk about the game that got them into the board game hobby. And there was a lot of games that I first really liked. I loved Ticket to Ride, and I loved Catan, but I think Bonanza was the first game I played where I said, I like games. Bonanza is a game for two to seven players that plays in about 45 minutes. In Bonanza, you are a bean farmer. You are collecting beans and then selling them for a profit. The more beans of a type, the more lucrative it is. So you collect three green beans for a coin, or you can collect five for two coins, and so on. It sounds simple enough, right? You just collect types of beans, collect a lot of them, and then sell them for a lot of money. But there's two big restrictions in this game that make that quite difficult. The first is that you can never reorder the cards in your hand. So you have a hand of five cards here, and you have a green bean here and a green bean here, but you can't put those together. They stay in the order that you received them. Now you OCD folk are probably pulling your hair out right now, but it makes for a really interesting game. The other really interesting restriction is that you only have two bean fields. So on your turn, you have to lay your top card but your two beans already planted are of a different type. So you have to lay that card, which means you have to discard one of the bean fields that you've already planted. Suddenly, with these two restrictions, it seems impossible to collect a lot of the same type of card because you have to lay your top card. You can't reorganize it. So how do you actually do that? Negotiation. And Bonanza is built upon trading and negotiation, and that's what makes the game so fun. You have these cards in your hand, and at any point during your turn, you can trade with any other players to get rid of some of these cards and to try to get cards so that you can build up your own personal piles. There aren't too many rules as far as the trading goes. You can trade cards that you have. You can say, hey, next time I get one of those, I promise I'll give it to you if you just give me that card now. And so the game is really replayable because it's more about the people you're playing with than the actual game itself. On to choosing which cards to actually try to collect in your bean fields. Each card shows how many of that type of bean there are in the game. For example, the cocoa bean shows that there are four cocoa beans in this entire deck. And for the coffee beans, there's 24 of them. And that makes for a lot of unique decisions as you're trying to decide, do I go for something rare? There's only four of these in the entire deck. But they're worth a lot. Or do you go for something a little bit more common, like the coffee beans, where you know there's going to be a lot of them, but they're just not going to be worth nearly as much? So is Bonanza fun? Bonanza really shines as a trading game. I feel like a lot of games out there try to encourage you to trade and to negotiate, but they're just missing that incentive. And Bonanza does a really good job of that by having these cards that you can't reorganize and only two bean fields at a time, you now have a lot of incentive to trade cards with people, and lots of times even just donate cards to people, because you're like, I just need to get rid of this so that I can get more points. So you're helping others, but also really helping yourself by doing so. And that creates a lot of positive player interaction as you're working with players in a, in a truly positive way. The second thing that I love about Bonanza is how organized and clear it is to see. You're looking at how rare a card is and the probability of getting another one of those. It could almost feel like an Excel sheet where you're looking at numbers and probabilities, but they've organized it in such a good, simple to read way that you can easily see how many of the card there are in the deck and how lucrative it is, kind of that high risk, high return by these little numbers here at the bottom by the coins. I'm a firm believer that the theme of a game should really match the experience that you're going to have. And I feel like Bonanza does that really well. It's a game about bean farming, a very light, family-friendly theme, and it's a very light, family-friendly, fun game. So they did a really good job with that. The last thing that I really love about the game is that this game is played above the table. So lots of games, the game's on the table, you're staring at the table, you're staring at cards, moving around tokens. And this game isn't like that at all. The game is really about the experience you're having with the people around you, not what is on the table, but about the negotiations and the trading. And I love that about the game is that it's really a family-friendly game, a really a good group game, 
because you're really interacting with the people around you, not just what's on the table. On to the cons. Our greatest strengths are often our greatest weaknesses, and that is definitely true for Bonanza. I love the negotiation and I love the trading, but sometimes players will take forever. They'll want to take five minutes per turn to wheel and deal, and that just makes the game really drag, and it's not a very fun experience. It doesn't have to be that way, but sometimes it is. The other thing is the game can sometimes feel a little bit two-dimensional. Each game, each turn, you're kind of doing the same thing. You take a few cards, you lay a few cards, you trade a little bit, and that's kind of what there is to the game. And like I said, it's really unique every time because of who you're playing with. But just all in all, after I've played the game a few times, I kind of feel like I've had my fill and I want something a little bit meatier with a few more actual meaningful decisions. Overall, I give Bonanza a B. I definitely highly recommend the game. Like I said, it's one of the games that got me into board gaming as a hobby. When you're playing with a slightly larger group, but don't want to just play a party game, you want a game with a little bit of strategy, that's right where Bonanza comes in. It really is a perfect game for a slightly larger group. I would love to hear what your favorite game is to play with your family that provides a lot of interaction and entertainment. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time.